Hi guys, in my previous video you saw me make a brushless generator from a 12 volts dead car alternator. So in this video what I'm going to do is conduct all the tests that were left out in that video plus I'm going to convert this motor into a brushless high speed generator 12 volts or 24 volts. Let's see uh, at what voltage it performs best. Okay. So guys the first test that I'm going to do is what I already did in my previous video the voltage test. 200 volts AC for those who haven't seen it yet now guys at the back of the alternator you can see three wires okay one two and three these are the three phase wires and only two of the three wires will be connected to the multimeter red and black terminals and one will be left out because this multimeter can measure only single phase AC voltage okay so let's proceed with that one wire connected now comes the second wire that is also connected now it's time to run the shaft okay so guys now i'm going to bound the thread on the shaft of the alternator okay so guys keep watching the lcd screen okay So yeah 6.1 volts around 6 volts now guys this was the single phase ac test now comes the full and final test with the help of this 64 amperes bridge rectifier three phase this is from another alternator car alternator so these are the two positive and negative dc terminals and these blue white and red are the three phase ac input terminals which will be connected to this alternator so let's do that So guys all the phase wires have been connected to the alternator and the uh, from the rectifier and it uh, does not matter uh, for the way in which we connect uh, the terminals from the rectifier to the alternator it, uh, i can connect this blue one to this and this white one to this it doesn't matter okay so guys with this being done i'm going to connect the multimeter and now i will have to point it towards yeah 20 volts dc mode because the output from the rectifier is going to be dc Yeah, the terminals from the multimeter have been connected. Let's wound the thread and see how much voltage I can generate in DC by connecting this rectifier. Okay. Yeah, actually the rope broke once again. Watch the LCD screen. Again it broke. Let's try a new rope from this. Okay, so guys keep watching the display screen. Okay. Yeah, it was around 3 amperes. So guys, you might have seen this brushless motor controller, no hall sensor type. Uh, and I made this in one of my previous videos, uh, like three or four months back. Now there is a knob for low and high speed. This is low. Yeah, you can see. And this is high speed. And this is for clockwise and anti-clockwise. So now I'm going to run this alternator as a DC motor with the help of this no hall sensor type of brushless motor controller. So uh, the blue wires will be connected to these three terminals, one, two, and three. Let's do that. Okay, one has been connected. Now comes the second one. Second one has also been connected. Now comes the last one. So all the three wires have been connected. Closer view. All the three wires have been connected. Let's connect power supply. Okay, so guys, first I'm going to start with this 12 volt 7H UPS battery. Okay, so keeping it here like this. First checking if it is working or not. Yeah, it's working. Uh, let's finally measure the voltage across the battery terminals. It's only 12.2 volts. The battery is not that uh, charged. Let's replace it with another one. So guys, the battery is not charged and I was going to use this one, but this one is also not charged. So I'm going to use this one anyways. Let's see how the performance of this alternator is. 
So yeah, guys, the terminals have been connected. It's time to turn the knob and see some rotation over here. Okay, go. You see the motor has started. Now at present, the alternator is running like a motor. Let's increase the speed. Let's go a little higher. Yeah. So guys, here you can also get the inside view. It is running really fast at 12 volts. Also guys, the battery is really discharged. Let's see how much voltage remains on the battery when it's connected to the alternator. Okay, pointing meter towards 20 volts DC mode. Like keeping it like this. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Yeah, the voltage has reduced to around 11.75 volts. RPM is good enough. Okay, let's remove the terminal. And move the speed pointer towards zero. And guys, now I'm going to give you a closer view on the starting of this alternator as motor. You can see it has started. Let's increase the speed. Going a little higher. And full speed. Full speed at 12 volts. Torque is good enough. Yeah, let's turn it off. So guys, since uh, the voltage is not enough, although it is 12 volts, I'm still going to increase the input by doubling the input voltage. Let's see what happens. Okay, so in series, it is going to make around 24 volts. So first, I'm going to short these two terminals to connect the batteries in series. Okay, now it's done. Now the pointer is already at zero. Let's connect this to this terminal. Okay. Yeah, this has been connected. Now it's time to turn the knob and start it. So guys, it has started at 24 volts. Let's increase the speed. A little higher. More. more yeah it is running really fast and it is vibrating yeah let's reduce the speed to zero it's running really fast here let's start again with closer view for the alternator okay 24 volts input increasing speed one two three four at fourth it starts vibrating fifth yeah fifth is maximum so yeah this is the closer view it's running really fast here permanent magnet brushless alternator this is the controller, these are the wires and the battery is perfect and safe. Race code, right? So let's turn it off. 